Our topic is all about cognitive leadership with Jericho Okate. Cognitive leadership is a industrial and organized or organizational psychology. The word cognitive relating to conscious mental actions or mental activities or cogni- the word cognitive about how we think, how we understand, and how we learn the, the things that we see in the environment, how we remember something about the environment. And cognitive leadership is cognitive leadership focuses on the influence of the leaders intelligence and experience and reaction to stress because as a leader we experience something and then we tend to do such thing because a leader are to the environment because cognitive leadership is what they going to do to benefit that experience intelligence and because of that they overthink if they become a good leader or not because cognitive leadership tend to react to environment and to experiences rather than proactively helping our neutral cell structures reconfigure in a way that is most positive for our lives and for our future as i said last the the first slide cognitive leadership is all about thinking understanding learning remembering what they think is what they think they are not how leaders lead the, the team much depends on situation that will suit their leadership styles yes they they, they they always think about the they doings they they think about what they want to do they want to do rather than helping the the others to the future then cognitive research theory have a four cycles the experience intelligence competence task knowledge experience if nasa is experience na na sakto gusto na nila i-share pero dili nila ma dili nila matarong og hawid ang ilhang team kay tungod kay naa na sila experience gusto nila nga ilang experience mo na ang mo na ang naa sila and the next is intelligence intelligence is the main factor in low stress while experiencing counts for more during high stress why if nasobraan ka pagka pagka pagkahuna-huna nga ay kani ako ning buhaton kani ako ning buhaton dili na nimo makita ang imong team as a one because mo man imong permiti mo huna na na ay na ako na una ako ani ano na then na next is competence competence gusto kay siya nga ako ning buhaton ako ako ni ako ni task knowledge siya ang git siya ang naay knowledge ana nga nga task then dili siya maka dili siya mga pangayog tabang sa lain ta okay ni na siya na siya knowledge niya ana nga situation that is yes 
four cycles of cognitive resource theory. If a person or a leader mag tuyok iyang gusto anang upat, then makadala siya og stress sa iyang iyang paghunahuna. Then the next is the the essence of the theory is that stress is the enemy of rationality damaging leaders ability to think logically and analytically however the leaders experience intelligence can listen and depending on the degree of stress express an intelligence sometimes if mag magbalance ang experience and intelligence sa isa ka leader then malisin ang mga stress nga gakahunahunaan niya tungod kay dili niya always gina pa dili niya gina pa siguro ihang stress that's all for the cognitive leadership the next is the personality about the cognitive leadership of Fred Fiddler and Joe Garcia. Next slide. Fred Fiddler and Joe Garcia. In 1987, Fiddler and Garcia developed a leadership theory of industrial and organizational psychology of leadership, cognitive resource theory as a conceptualization of the Friedler contingency model. This theory focuses on the influence of the leaders, intelligence, and experience on their stress, and was originated into military leadership style of studies. Essence of the theory. This theory emphasizes that Stress is the enemy of nationality, damaging leaders' ability to think logically and ana- analytically. However, the leader's experience and intelligence can lessen the influence of stress of his or her actions. Intelligence is the main factor in law. Stress situations, while experience counts for more during high stress moments. Fred Friedler The complete name of Fred Friedler is Fred Edward Friedler. He was born in Vienna, Austria to Victor and Helga Scalinger Friedler. His parents owned a textile and tailoring supply store prior to an to 1938. Fridler emigrated to United States shortly after 1938 and became a U.S. citizen in 1943. He served in the U.S. Army from 1942 to 1948. He studied psychology in the University of Chicago. He, he obtained his undergraduate degree and later a PhD in clinical psychology in 1949. In 1951, he moved to the University of Illinois and became a member of psychology faculty. He became the director of the group Effectiveness Laboratory to the University of Illinois from 1959 to 1969. He helped this field move from the re- research on traits and personal characteristics of leaders to leadership styles behaviors. In 1967, he produced the contingency modeling of leadership with a non with a no Famous Riddler Contingency Model 
so next is Jogar's here the complete name of Joe Garcia is the Jose Antonio Garcia Jr. born in October 12, 1963 known as Joe Garcia is the former U.S. representative for Florida's 26th Congressional District he was defeated in his 2014 bid for re-election and left office on January 3, 2015. The district includes most of western Miami-Dade County as well as the Florida Keys. He is a member of the Democratic Party. He is the former executive director of the Coban American National Foundation and was nominated by President Barack Obama to be director of the Office of Minority Economic, Economic, Economic Impact and Diversity of the United States Department of Energy and a position for which he was anonymously confirmed by the United States Senate. So, yun ang po ang dalawa. Maraming salamat.